Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Rosenblatt. And I'm Tim Dunn, Chief Technologist at Mean Health Cardiology. Together, we successfully championed a cardiac pet molecular imaging program in Portland, Maine. And we would love to share some thoughts on how this was accomplished. When we embark on something, it has to not only be financially feasible, but you have to really feel this is an essential service. PET stands for positron emitted tomography. It's like night and day the difference between the resolution and what we're seeing on the PET images compared to what we're seeing on our other images that we're doing. It's actually telling you the health of the arteries themselves. We were really excited about the potential that it had to assist in diagnosis and care of our patients in the cardiac world. The resolution of the scan compared to other imaging is, is unbelievable. Yeah. In this case, it's sarcoidosis. These hot areas are where there's active inflammation. At the onset, PET had a significant higher level of reimbursement than SPEC. You needed a, a minimal amount of patients that needed to be done a day. I was able to demonstrate that once you meet your initial upfront cost, any increment beyond that, the, the benefit, it almost becomes exponential. It doesn't become linear. The new PET systems have a fairly high level CT scanner. We've reached out to subspecialists in vascular surgery, nephrology, infectious disease, pulmonary, and there are a lot of other ramifications besides perfusion. It's really just the tip of the iceberg. I could show you 10 cases of patients that, because of cardiac pet, got life-saving treatments that they would not have gotten if they weren't here. We've affected even sort of our transplant program for nephrology, that that is so compelling for the benefits of a non-invasive that they forego that invasive and they're being referred here for risk stratification. Okay, so this is our pet suite. When designing a cardiac pet lab, training is critical. You need more room than you typically would have with just a camera. You need room for the stress system so we can monitor them safely. You've got your infusion cart. That's and our cart, that's going to give us an isotope to image them. Anything you need needs to be readily at hand. With our lab here, we have our own leaded hot lab. You also have to factor in your shielding because you're dealing with high levels of radiation. We actually see complementary data that strengthens our confidence takes you to a completely different level in your diagnostic ability when you're caring for your patients. It almost becomes the cornerstone of a lot of things that we do in cardiac care these days. It's a game changer. If you want to be on the cutting edge of cardiovascular care, PET is going to be one of your tools. Whenever possible and accessible, your first line of diagnostic imaging should be cardiac PET.